Hey folks, Jordy here for Premier Basics, and this right here is the Loop Deck CT, a pro controller for video editors specifically, and its smaller brother or sister. The Loop Deck Life, which is smaller and more affordable. Now, big thanks to them for sponsoring this video as well. Now, in a nutshell, these are controllers which give you the possibility to edit and color grade faster and more efficient inside the Adobe universe. And even open your email or do some Twitter or whatnot. You lazy bastard. To start, let's connect the Loop Deck to the computer, install and open up the Loop Deck configuration software. And this is where the magic happens. With their easy to use interface, you can quickly start adjusting what exactly needs to be done on the Loop Deck. Again, this is possible for every different application, but for this tutorial, let's change the system profile to Premiere Pro. And now you can start customizing every button, dial, touchpad, and you can even use your own icons for all the actions, making the aesthetics look even cooler. You can easily see what actions fit the buttons and which are for the dials. They use these hand or arrow icons, which stand for press or dial. Now let's fire up Premiere, and when doing so, you can immediately see that our interface changes. That's because Loop Deck will recognize what program is open and will adjust its layout to it. What I've got right here is a small edit of Jenik playing with his little friends. Now editing such a video goes much faster with the Loop Deck, as you can use actions, macros, and dials to flight through it. And if you're thinking I can do the exact same thing with my keyboards, wrong. Keyboard shortcuts are fast, but the loop deck displays it nicely on a touchscreen. Plus, you can create macros, which is an insane feature, and we'll dive into that deeper later on. Now, the first step in a color grading workflow is to bring all of your shots to the right color space, which is going to be the standard Rec. 709 for us. You can see that we have different video tracks, each representing a different camera. Now, normally, you would adjust the creative look by going to the correct tab, opening that drop-down menu, and then choosing your LUTs. With the loop deck, you just select the clip and hit the look key. That's it. We have just applied the V-Lock to Rec. 709 LUT as this track was from the Panasonic GH5 camera. We have another camera track and we'll do the same thing. This time we apply the Sony Rec. 709 LUT because that was shot on a Sony camera. Next we're gonna do an overall correction to match the clips. On the loop deck we'll choose the basic correction tab and this will give us all the typical properties which we can easily adjust with the dials. The Loop Deck CT also has this big dial in the middle, which can give us extra space for more properties. And this way we can do the complete basic correction without using our mouse to go through the metric. So we could even color correct in full screen, since we've got all of the properties at our fingertips. Here's a clip which is underexposed, and I want to compare it with a previous shot as I make my adjustments. I can open up the comparison view from the Loop Deck, compare it with the previous clip, and then make my adjustments. The big dial in the middle can hold different functions. It can do basic correction settings, color wheels, but also function to scrub through the timeline, enable playback, and so on. Now on the right side of the loop deck, we also have these arrows, which hold the same functions as the arrows on our keyboard, so we can quickly jump to the next clip or go back with these. Alright, so we'll continue to correct all of the shots, matching the color temperature, skin tones, exposure, etc. The last step will be the color grading, which we can do now on an adjustment layer as all of my clips are color matched. Now, I'm one of those lazy bastards, so I'll just press one button and bang, we've got an adjustment layer. Maybe I want another one, bang, or perhaps another one, bang, here we go, bang. How cool is that, guys? This is done using a macro, which I talked about before. Now, in the Loop Deck software, we can create a new macro and choose what needs to happen. We can either choose a shortcut, open a URL, run a command, play a sound, display a text, add a delay, or choose an action from Premiere Pro. So we can combine these options to create more complex actions. And for adding such an adjustment layer, we first make the project panel active, then create an adjustment layer, then hit the return key because of the pop-up box that appears, and then we insert that adjustment layer into the timeline. Awesome. So I'll extend the adjustment layer to cover the entire edit. With it selected, let's do some color grading. We can choose a particular look, so I'll go through my LUT library until I find something that I like. With a small dial, we can flip through the looks, and with the big dial, we can adjust the intensity as it's more precise. Now, perhaps you don't want to use a LUT, but create something yourself. Now, from the color wheels, we can add a little teal into the shadows and some orange into the midtones. This creates that typical teal and orange look. 
Now the big dial is a touch screen and so we can use that to adjust the colors from there really handy. And this is basically how you can do a fast color correct and great and even make it more faster and more fun with the Loop Deck CT or its little brother or sister, I don't know yet, the Loop Deck Life. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. If you want to learn more about these products, definitely check out the link in the description down below. And as always, stay creative. Oh yeah, guys, don't forget to check out the video here on my left where you can see more or down there is a subscribe button because you definitely don't want to miss us as we publish every single Wednesday. All right, take care, you lazy bastard. <laughs>